This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today I have one of the most cool mods I have seen for FS19 to date. And I have, I, I'm basically speechless. Uh, I've been messing with this for about two hours. Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So what we got here is we've actually got in screen oh about five mods um that all work together to uh to make this a pretty dang cool system so let me uh let me first show you where you can get all of this cool stuff from so all of this can be found over at ls mod company and this is as of today their main mod page for LS19 or FS19, Farm Sim 19. Uh, but what we're going to look for is the FS19 Squid, the ATC Container Pack, the ATC Container Handling Pack, and then there's a few mods linked off of that. So let's go to the ATC Container Pack. So right now we are at 1.003. And what this cont contains are 10, 20, and 40 feet ISO containers. So those are the big uh, containers that you see on trains, you see on the back of semis, you see on container ships. They're pretty much a standardized shipping container. Uh, the 10-foot ones hold 10,000 liters, the 20-foot ones hold 20,000 liters, and the 40-foot ones hold 40,000 liters of bulk product. We'll take a look at these in a moment. You have the container handling pack version 1.0.0.1, at least as of the recording of this video. And this is what you're going to use to basically move the uh, the containers around on a with with a wheel loader. Okay. So what you have is the hook lift frame for transporting 10 and 20 foot ISO containers. The container handling unit for hook lift vehicles, the wheel loader fork, and the wheel loader container traverse. Okay, I will show you those things uh, here in a little bit. And then there are a few recommended mods. Uh, one is the one mod you could pick is the IT runner pack from Giants. Okay. Another mod you could pick is a modded version of the IT Runner Pack by Bone Crusher, which is right here. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Um, now, do not activate both IT Runner Packs at the same time. You're going to run into problems. Uh, you're going to get all kinds of errors because both of these packs are going to try to initialize uh, the same type of attachers and, and various things, and you're just going to run into problems. For this demonstration, I have the IT Runner Pack by Bone Crusher, uh, which adds various things like dynamic hoses, license plates, animated dirt trap, uh, which I think he means, I'll show you, it's like a mud flap in the back, and a bunch of other, whole, other cool things. Now, this video is not about this pack. I will show it briefly, but I won't go into a great deal about it. Wrong one. A JCB that has been modified, uh, JCB loader, front loader, or wheel loader, I'm sorry, that's been modified. This one has been modified so it can lift 23.8 tons. This one has a whole lot of junk in the trunk, so to speak, uh, so it can pick up these heavy containers. I would probably not suggest picking up a full 40 foot container with the in game New Holland wheel loader. It's probably not going to work. Um, so if you're going to want to use the wheel letter stuff, you're going to want to get this JCB. Then we have the squid, which is right here. Okay, and what that is is it is a giant container um, telehandler, basically. 
it weighs 67 tons itself. That's 350 horsepower. So we're going to look at this. It's pretty cool. And that is pretty much about it. Okay. So again, to summarize, you're going to need the ATC container pack. There will be a link in the description. You're going to need to have the container handling pack. Again, there will be a link in the description. You're going to want either one or the other IT runner pack. I will link to both, but only activate one or the other. You'll need this squid or calmer. Okay. And then the JCB. Let's get back to the excitement that we have here. So let's take a look. So here is the squid. I've changed colors. I know they're probably atrocious. There you go. It's currently holding a 20 foot container up in the air. This is one of the um, attachers for the hook lift. This actually hooks to the side or the front of the container and then the hook lift hooks to that we have the I'm gonna call it the hook lift sled right here then we have the wheel loader um, get the technical term for that but uh, this will do 40 foot 20 foot or 10 foot containers way over there by the shop we've got the wheel loader pallet forks or the the forks okay and then we've got two examples of two 20 foot containers and a 40 foot container and you'll read in the um, the mod downloads uh, that the mod author kind of rags a bit on his uh, textures and I'll say I think they look pretty dang good myself so let's take a look at this stuff in the store so first up let's take a look at the JCB so here is the JCB pretty much all we can change here is do rim colors change to Michelin tires Nokian tires or Trelleberg we can go standard front twins okay kind of like that idea and then we can go with a bigger engine for all if we're going to be handling these giant containers we're going to want the biggest engine possible right let's go ahead and buy that up now let's take a look at uh, the containers themselves. So the containers are going to be found under objects, under miscellaneous, and we've got a large set of container assortments. Uh, they are all in 10, 20, or 40 capacity, so we're not going to need to look at every single one of them. Uh, handily enough, they are all $1,000 a piece, and you can see 10000 20,000 and 40,000 respectively. And you'll notice that they hold wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, seeds. I believe that's chaff. That is mixed rations, um, wood chips, uh, it's only chaff, forage, mixed rations. It's one of these wood chips. Then we have silage, straw, grass, hay. Uh, we have solid fertilizer, we have manure, we have pig food, and we have lime. All of that bulk can be stored in this. Okay, So we've got the ATC logo on the side here. Let's take a look at these. We've got just a global ATC worldwide logistics. Change the color on those. We've got really cool details here on the doors. Okay. Then we have the LS Mod Company. Let's look at the 20 foot container on that one. No options to change the color on that one. 40 foot option here. And this would work great for a semi. Um, I've yet to figure out how to transport this other than using the giant, um, either the wheel loader option or the uh, squid just call it the squid got a 20 foot castor ink okay have the 
whatever that is. Douche. Yeah. Okay. Got UPS. Your UPS Brown. FedEx. FedEx Black. Beige color. Okay. DHL. Firms Logistic Group. Like I said, lots of options here. See lots of these. Seen lots of these on the roads. See these also. Evergreen. APL. Noel. The list just keeps going, doesn't it? Man. A black one, a black one, bl black, blank. We can change whatever color we want. Woo, we can go bright pink. And that's it. Okay, that is it for the containers. They all are the exact same uh, with respect to what they hold, and the capacities are all based on size. Okay, now let's take a look at the squid. But to figure out, I'm going to have to try to remember where it is. It is under telehandlers. Okay. And the default is red and red. You can pick red, blue. Oops. Red, blue, yellow, or black. And for rims, we can go red, blue, yellow, or black. Okay. That looks Something about all that black and all black. That looks pretty dang slick. Let's buy another one too. Now, let's look at the IT runner set. Okay, now remember, this video is not all about the IT runner set. Uh, this is more or less about the entire package. But the IT runner set that I've downloaded by Bone Crusher uh, does have some unique attributes to it. So, of course, we've got the trailer the IT runner trailer we can change rim color to just about any color we want we can change the main color again to just about any color we want okay continue with my atrocious color selection there we're going to go and we've got the cool like flap down here and we can change tires we can change the trailerberg to Michelin and then we've got several different size Michelin tires we could pick. And then we can go brand, and we have a ton of brands. So I'm just going to swing through these. Real quick. But again, this isn't about this pack. This is about the whole system. Okay. We've already got a couple of those. And of course, we've got Then the thing about the IT runner pack is all of these containers also have all of these brands on it. Okay. So it's a pretty cool pack to get if you want something other than just um, you know, what Giants will let you do. But again, this isn't about the IT runner system. This is about the whole pack. So here is the end, the module for the end units. This one is good for, I think, um, the 20-foot containers. And the 20-foot containers only. And then we've got the hook lift frame uh, that is good for either one 10 foot. I mean, the way these are set up, they're set up so you could, in theory, attach two 10 foot containers, but you don't get the attach option. 
you put the second 10 foot container up there. I'll demonstrate that here in a bit. Hopefully that's something that they can figure out how to fix because it looks a little weird with just one 10 foot container on it or a 20 foot container. Uh, this does not have the option of extending its length to do a 40 foot container. And if it did, it would hang way off the back of the IT runner trailer. Uh, and I'm really hoping that they do come out with like a flatbed for a semi that has these attachment points that we could, um, well, not really flatbed, but it's more or less a, a semi frame that you could attach um, a 40 foot unit to. Because right now I don't see any reason to use the 40 foot unit other than to store something um, because there's no way of transporting it. All right, guys, well, that is the system. Now let's play with this stuff, right? Let's go to the JCB here. And you can see the rear of this thing is squatted down. There is a lot of junk in this system's trunk. I'm going to go over here, and I've already got the um, fork option. There we go. We're going to hook up the fork. I've got a 10-foot UPS container here. And the forks fit perfectly. Get lined up. There we go. They fit perfectly there. Just pick up the container. Let's get our HUD back on. Oops. Let's get our HUD back on. Let's go over here and basically show you this on this um, this module trailer. Let's got the rear end here. Let's um, let's just park that here for now. Got the man here just because it's got it's fairly quick and it's got a rear hitch. Here we are. The way this works is we will just come in here. Yeah, that's that's good enough. We'll get into this. We'll get an attach, and we will basically attach it to the uh, the locking bolts. Locking pins, whatever you want to call it. I will slide that on out. And we have our 10 foot container, and we can open the door. And there I've got this one loaded with 10,000 liters of wood chips. It is full of wood chips. See, X will open and close the door. And then Q, if we pay attention, we can see this move slightly. Let's look at that. Just see, we can see it move. Sadly, the uh, the pins aren't animated. It would be cool if the pins rotated um, so that we could tell that that was unhooked. Let's, uh, let's move this over here for now. Okay. And let's go ahead and um, let's get into this one. This one has 10,000 liters of hay in it. You can open the doors to this one if you want. There's what it looks like with 10,000 liters of hay. 
Just gonna drop that. Now what I want to do is I want to get into this unit and move it over here. Drop it off just temporarily. Go. Show you how this one works. So this one, you can hit X and it will expand out to the 40 foot mark. Or X again to retract to the 20 foot mark. Just come up here, get close. And you'll get the order to attach. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move this one to right here. Just to demonstrate. If you use keyboard to uh, get around, it does get a little, uh, little jerky and it can... Uh, get a little uh, upset with you I end up for some reason end up driving with either um, half time end up using a keyboard half time end up using a mouse right, so just gonna shut that off because we really don't need to see that anymore just wanted to demonstrate how I could fork onto a uh, 20 foot container and pick this one up okay and what we're going to do is we're going to move this one over here I want to position it here so that we can hook up with it using this adapter here down this uh, this decline doesn't help me out much now does it all right so we're pretty much done with the wheel loader demonstration let's put that over here uh, let's grab this one Here you can see that the dynamic hoses are attached on this version of the hook lift trailer. The way this one works is basically we back up to the end and we'll get the connect. Okay. And then we get the connect to connect the container. Okay, and now if we go F1, we can open the back doors. Back doors are open. Uh, something else, we have straps on all of these. You can bring your pallets in here. Let's go ahead and close the doors. Handles are coolly animated. And then what we can do is we can toggle to the trailer. We can load the container up. And at that point, we can uh, drive off. Then we can come over here, unload our container. Now, it does get a little interesting on basically managing, toggling between the uh, the container, the attachers, and everything. Um, right, so there, we just disconnected that thing from the hook lift that's not what I wanted to do there we go can move that that thing just kind of moves around doesn't really lock in place now 
Now what I wanted to show you is that you would think that this would also work with a 10 foot, but it doesn't. Let me show you. Back this on up in here. Yeah, I well, I could get a little more square lined up than that, but okay, you can't get much more can't get much more lined up within that, right? And my only option is to disconnect. So for some reason it won't let me uh, haul 10 foot units with this. This is only good or 20 foot units okay go over here and try it with the uh, cut that off if you go over here and try it with the 40 foot unit you'll see that that doesn't work either so let's go take a look at this okay so X will extend this out to 40 foot or collapse it to 20 foot cannot use this to move the 10 foot units okay because there's no 10 foot attachers left mouse button and if we go up and down raises and lowers the boom left mouse button left and right will tilt the connector up and down okay right mouse button up and down extends and retracts the boom arm and right mouse button left and right rotates this okay now there's more if we push both buttons both left and right mouse button and go forward and back or up and down sorry left and right it shifts this whole thing left and right really cool and if we do center mouse button and we go left and right we move the uh, the cab isn't that cool of course if your controls are different than mine then your controls will be different than mine and you'll have to figure out your own controls. Um, we also have multiple cameras. So we've got the first person camera and this interior is quite nice for being a custom built vehicle. This was apparently built in Blender. Got pretty good visibility. I couldn't imagine could not imagine trying to actually hook this up in first person. Then we've got another camera, which is basically over the attacher connector. And then we've got the third camera, which is our typical freeform third person camera. So let's go ahead and see if we can't hook up to this, this container got a pretty uh, pretty generous um, connection hotspot so this one actually has 20,000 liters of wheat so I'm gonna move it and back it up over here To the other one. Oh, oh it's just gonna. It's things. How many did I say? 67 tons? We're just gonna bully our way around. This one has 20,000 liters of sugar beets. It's 
extend this. And this one has 40,000 liters of pig food. So that's going to be fun. Let's see if we can open the doors on this one. There's my 40,000 liters of pig food. Right there. This thing is really, really cool. Like I said, there's no way that I have found to transport the 40 footers at this point. Hoping they come out with a semi uh, frame to be able to haul these. That would be really cool. Now, I want to show you guys basically what we can do with these. Okay, they are bulk fill. So you can't fill them from a harvester. All right, you got to fill them from a silo of some sort. Okay, so you could fill them from your silo. Um, you could probably fill them from a pallet. My gosh, trying to fill it with 40 pallets. That would be that'd be crazy. I filled these from a bulk fill silo that I have that I use when I do mod reviews and I need product. Um, but you could fill this from your your silo. And then all you gotta do is take this to a cell point. And then unload it. So this one has the sugar beets. That's what I wanted to see. See there we got sugar beets. Okay. And we're going to conclude this video by basically hauling this off to get sold. And man... This thing has squatted this tractor down. We're just going to take this down to the restaurant. Which is right here in town. Fairly close. But uh, this pack is pretty dang cool. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this pack? As I said, they are over at Ellis Mod Company. I think it's pretty dang cool. Just a few uh, few enhancements would make this pack even cooler, uh, like the ability to transport multiple 10-foot containers on this on the IT runner um, frame, uh, the ability to actually do something with the 40-foot containers, other than haul them around with the wheel loader or the uh, or the um, see, I. And now we are. Uh, but we're selling our sugar beets. I really like the ability to haul the um, you know, transport the 40 foot containers some way. But uh, there might be updates to the pack. There might be additional add on mods that come out to the pack. Just keep an eye over at Ellis Mod Company for more information. So if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. We do mod reviews, map videos. We do Let's Play videos as well as live streams on Farm Sim 19. And until next time, guys, happy farming.